be updated to Android 9.0 Pi, brand new UI, new navigation gestures, updated Android security patch level to December 2018, new gaming mode version 3.0, new D&D mode and the camera app has integrated Google Lens mode. Even I did not get the update, directly I had to use a VPN service, change the region to Canada to get the OTA. Alternatively, you can download and transfer the Pyrom package to your phone's internal storage and use the local upgrade process or boot to the recovery, you can do that by enabling the advanced reboot options in the power menu or via bootloader or by pressing volume down and power button simultaneously. Once you are in the recovery menu, wipe cache partition by going to the wipe data and cache tab and wipe cache, then go to the recovery home page, select install from internal storage and pick the Pi ROM you just transferred to your phone and hit yes. Now wait until the ROM package gets installed and once it is done, reboot your phone. This is the new lock screen, the clock widget is changed now and when you connect your phone to your power source, the charging status will now appear below the clock widget. Next the new launcher gets a new theme for the shelf and the launcher version is 3.1.4. New rounded quick toggles and notifications, new settings panel and there are no separate sections now. Let's go to the about phone section and check the OS details. Auction version is 9.0.0, Android version is 9Pi, security patch level is of December 1 and the build date is December 23. Next new Pi gestures for 5T, you can enable them by going to the buttons and gestures tab, navigation bar and gestures and change the navigation bar to swipe up on home button. Next new accessibility menu which appears in the on screen nav bar and it can trigger assistant, power and volume menus, recent apps, lock screen, quick toggles and notification panel and also takes a screenshot. The other gestures you get with the Pi update are activating the assistant app with power button and long press the FP sensor to take a photo. New Android Pi adaptive brightness which learns your usage by following how you change the brightness in different scenarios. Adaptive battery which makes sure what apps stay in the memory based on your frequent usage while adding limitations for the apps you don't use often. New auto battery saver mode which can be turned on at any percentage from 5 to 75. Next we have new DND mode, you can change the behavior of notifications, you can set it to no sound, no visuals or sound for notifications or you can also add custom rules. Also, you can add exceptions for calls and messages and schedule to turn it on or off according to your convenience. New gaming mode version 3.0, you can answer calls via speaker, change how notifications appear with gaming mode on, notifications for third party calls and disable auto brightness. New volume slider which controls media volume by default, you can select the media output here itself and also go to the sound settings. This is the new power menu, you can add advanced reboot options via developer options tab and lockdown mode by going to security and lock screen, lock screen preferences and enable show lockdown option. Next we have new dialer and contacts app, no oneplus roaming feature in this ROM, no nightscape mode for the camera app, new camera app version is 3.0.13 and yes it has front portrait mode. There are also some other Pi features like rotation lock, bluetooth device pairing up to 5 devices, turn off hotspot after 5 minutes when no devices are connected magnifying glass feature for the text and display relevant app actions based on the highlighted text. That's it about the features, about the ROM stability, for now everything seems to be fine, no UI stutters, network is fine for calls, VLT and video calls but dual VLTE feature is not there. ROM passes safety net checks so banking apps will work just fine, camera 2 API is level 3 and even though some Pixel 3 camera ports work with this Pi ROM, they are not fully functional. Apart from these, no issues with audio recording via phones or headphones mic, no issues with WhatsApp calls, fingerprint and face unlock features work as they should, GPS is working great, takes about a second or two to lock the signal, no issues with changing or customizing accent colors for dark or light themes and no problems encountered with Netflix and PUBG. About benchmarks, NT2 version 7 score 